Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today let's make a stunning login page with user ID and password purely in Flutter. We are going to use some basic text fields, login elements and a few images in this structure. So be with me till the end of this video to get a beautiful login screen. Let's get started. Let's remove all this stuff from here to get started. So I'll be removing all this code and now we are left with our main function. We have a material app with home property as my app and I'll be creating a stateless list so I write STL and I'll name this class as my app. Here I'll be returning a scaffold and we'll be creating a basic layout starting with the column as the body property of the scaffold. Inside the column we have some children's right there and now we are gonna add an image to our scaffold. So for that we are having the images in our assets folder. So right here I have two images to be added and one thing please make sure about the assets that you must have the assets activated in your pubspec.yaml file. So here I have my assets list. You could have your own directory if you have some asset slash images you could make it like this also. But for the sake of simplicity I have simply added the assets in my direct directory. So now firstly for the background stuff we are going to add an image inside the container. So here I'll simply write a container and adding a decoration property to it. Decoration takes simply a box decoration which has an image as its property which will take in again a decoration image. So as a decoration image and inside we have an image property which will take an asset image. So we write asset image and simply give the image path and give this container a height to make it uh, somewhat visible. So let's give 400 and we, here we have the image. Now let's quickly add some login elements here like text fields and login buttons. So from here I'll be going supersonic. You can just pause the video to implement the code on your own. Now here we took a simple container for this text fields for user ID and password and to make it a good looking something a kind of elevated look we took a box shadow decoration property here you can just see here a box shadow where we have applied some blur radius offset to this color and therefore it just gives some elevated look and a slight shadow down here just to make it look cool. And now inside of this container, we'll take two fields that is email or phone number and the second field is password. So for that, we took a column and inside the column, we have taken a text field that is wrapped inside a container again, which has a color property as for the border. So we just wrote here in email or phone number for that. We took a text field, which has again a property decoration that takes an input decoration. We applied some border hint text hint style. So here we have a hint text, which simply gives us a hint uh, for the user that the particular field to be entered is your email or your phone number. Similarly, you can just copy paste this for the password as well and rewrite the hint text as password here, which gives us this kind of look and feel. And when we click on this text field, we actually have to type in something, but it gives us a render flow error that bottom of that with 111 pixels. To solve this, to solve this render flow error, we need to apply a single child scroll view at our parent column widget so we'll just wrap it with the widget and apply a single child scroll view here which will actually help us to avoid any kind of overlapping now we just tap here and see no overflow here we can just scroll it directly to enter our email or password so let's close this and now we are almost done just need to put a bottom text here the next thing we have is a login button here so we'll just write a uh, login button code and finally let's apply some padding right here 
and give it a padding to the container. Now this looks cool. So this is how we implement a login screen in Flutter. And if this video makes sense to you, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. We'll implement OTP login and Firebase authentication as well in the upcoming videos. So please make sure that you stay updated with the channel and subscribe to it. That's it for the video. See you next time. Thank you.